Hey there, everyone, what's up? It's Yonder Producer. Hope your day is going well. I'm currently on the go right now, so I can't really make a dedicated video. But when I make a video showing a few of my favorite drum kits in Amplify Groovebox and how I got to use them as an AUV tree video. Amplify Groovebox is an application made by Amplify, which allows you to do a lot of things. Seriously. Amplify Groovebox is an amplification made by Amplify. It's a all-in-one application that contains quite a wide variety of sound. It's got the drum box, which is a drum machine, Horizon, which is a polyambient synth. It's got Minimum, which is a mono digital synth. It's got Retro Bass, which is a mono analog synth, and the Poly 8, which is a poly analog synth. What does all this thing mean? It means it's got a ton of really, really cool sounds that you can use. Today I'm going to be looking into drum box because I think this drum machine is really, really awesome. The great part about drum box is its wide variety of sounds and they're available in a lot of different classification and different genres. There's different sound packs you can download based on whatever inspires you or whatever you're looking for. But in this video, I thought I'd look into the few of the free sounds that I like and how I got to use them directly in other applications. So, if I'm scrolling through here to see the free sounds I currently have, I've got the Drumbox Essentials, the Drum Booster, the Dirty 909, and the Ambient Hip Hop. What I did was, I went through all of the sound kits, and I found the sounds that I liked, that inspired me, and I thought I could use more frequently. The reason why is because I don't want to spend a lot of time looking for presets when I already have a good idea of sounds that I like and tend to use. As you use a few iOS applications or music applications, you, you find the sounds that you're naturally drawn towards. And in this case, these are a few of mine. Starting off, if we're going directly into the Drumbox Essentials, I really do like the House Eternal. Simple drum kit, great in making a lot of trap even house beats as well. Prime Trap as well, I really do like the impact of the snare. EDM Smash would be if I'm just trying to make a... It's good for some sort of like future bass types of sounds that I'm looking for. These are the ones I'm naturally drawn to, let me see. Urban Switch is also definitely awesome if I'm trying to make some old school urban kinds of beats. Going directly into the drum booster, the one I mainly use is Modern Acoustic. Awesome sound and it gets me exactly what I want. It gives me the feeling of a real drum if I'm trying to add a lot more naturalistic sounds. I tend to go to Modern Acoustic. On the 3909, the sounds I like would be vintage vibe. It's a little bit rough, but sometimes I do need that extra sound backing up a track that I'm working on. I do have quite a few other sounds I tend to use sporadically. So what I did in my case was I sampled the sounds I like by putting them directly in a grid. So for example, I used this as a retro boot template. What I did was I sampled each and every sound and then I reduced the tempo as low as possible. I put it around 60 in this case because of Ableton like it changed to 120 but I set it to be pretty low so that I can capture more of the sound. Once I did that I then exported the recording and then I manually put it directly into Koala Sampler. That way, I have the drum kits easily accessible. Koala Sampler is an AUV tree application, which means I can use it in a few other doors I've been looking into. For example, Beatmaker Tree, Cubasis, Aurea Pro, maybe I'll eventually get to that. Nano Studio 2, which I recently just did a video on. But this allows me to be able to open it up in any host application. I'm able to use those sounds. For example, in Nano Studio 2, I can open up an audio unit instrument track. I can scroll down until I find Koala Sampler. And I can load up the project, like the modern acoustic.
Now if I put them side by side, One thing about Groovebox is that the volume of the sounds are increased. I was wondering why the sounds in Groovebox sounded a lot more fuller, like the, like the drums were really, really high. The main reason was because when I went to settings, the main reason is because the sounds in Groovebox are pretty loud. If you crank it up, you can get similar volume to what you have directly in here. And that's pretty much what I did. Anyways, hope this video was helpful. Take it easy. Wish.